Hello everyone. Um, in this session I'm going to show you how to do attendance in Brightspace. So I do have a handout that I'm going to give you links to along with this recording. And um, this um, handout will show you instructions step by step on how to go in and build a scheme, which is where you would say P for present, A for absent, that kind of thing, and then build your registry to figure out the dates that you're going to be taking attendance. So that's what we're going to cover in this session. I also recently learned of a new tool that when you build your registry, normally you would have to manually enter all the dates into the registry. But I found this um, tool that will bulk enter the dates for you. Okay, so um, while this is up here, you can use your phone to grab this and, and bring it up, or you can grab the URL. And the document that this links out to gives you instructions on how to use this bulk attendance tool to add the dates to your um, attendance generator inside of Brightspace. Now, to get this, all you're going to have to do is take this link here and drag it out into the bookmarks in your browser. So I would just drag it up here where I have my other bookmarks at the top of my screen and then let it go. And I've already done this. Um, it works best in Chrome from what I've seen so far. So um, if you have any problems with the other tools or the other browsers, then try opening up Chrome and put it in there. Okay. So, um, so like I said, I'll send you out the link to this information along with the recording. So in Brightspace, um, I'm in a course right now and I've gone into course tools and attendance. And in the attendance, you'll see there's two options in here. There's attendance registries and then there's attendance schemes. Okay. Really, you should figure out your scheme before you start building your registries. Okay. Your scheme, like I said, is going to be the area where you would say, you know, I want P for um, present, T for tardy, whatever you want. And there's a set of schemas that are already in here. I would recommend just using one of the schemas that's already there. Okay. If you want to, you can build one yourself. Okay. Um, but if you want to see what some of the other ones are and then choose if you want a different one, you can go into the Chevron to the right of the scheme and view in a window. And you can see that um, they already have A for absent. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, A for absent, P for present. And this is the percentage they get for that day of attending class. Okay. Um, another one that I like in here, Kava Skill here, here, if I go in to view theirs, they have more options. They have present at 100% for the day, late 50, excuse 50. Um, you might not want excused, um, but maybe you want the other three. You can do that. All right. And you do see that there is an option to copy one, but if you can find one that already meets your needs, I would set that as the default for you. So I've already gone in and set this one here. Um, it's the SUNY CCC as my, um, uh, uh, my, my default settings. Okay. So I'm going to close that, but you can set whatever one you want as your default setting. Okay. Now, when I go back to attendance registries, okay, when you go to build a registry, um, you're probably going to build one each semester. Normally what you'd have to do is go in and manually enter in all the dates. So that's why this attendance um, generator is going to be helpful for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in, I'm going to create a new um, registry, and this is going to be for summer two. So I'm going to call it SU23 for the year two because it's the second section of summer and I'm going to put in that it's a Monday uh, Wednesday classes okay now in the description you can write out whatever you want um, I know that in the past I put in there what the um, descriptions are for things so if I would put in like P for present and then so on and list that out okay um, the schemas here it's already set as the default you can choose a different one at any time I'm just going to leave it as the default. Cause for concern, you can have it show up at a certain percentage. So if they've missed 50% of the class, I can kind of get a, a something to jump out at me to let me know that I have some students that are falling behind. Okay. Um, visible to students. I like my students to see it. 
Okay, so this way if I make a mistake and I've marked them absent, maybe they came in late and they should get at least 50% for the day, they can let me know or remind me that it needs to be updated. Okay, um, they're going to access it the same way you did by going through course tools and attendance. Okay, um, and they only see their own attendance. They don't see anybody else's, so it's not a purpose violation setting this up in Brightspace. Okay, for users, um, if it's just a single course that you have in here, um, it's going to pull everybody in from the course um, list and allow you to take attendance for those people. If you have a merged course, you could set up a separate registry for each section. So you could look at just the students for one section at a time, and you could go in and do this include um, users for a specific group, and you could go pick which section that you wanted to um, take the attendance for. Okay, so you could actually, in the merge course, you could have two separate ones, one for your 9 a.m. class and another one for your 11 a.m. class if they're merged together. Okay, but in this one, I only have one course with one set of students. Okay, now this is where you would go in and start putting your dates in. Okay, now I don't want to put in my own dates. I want it to generate them for me. So for me to do this, I need to add another set of boxes because I need for summer session two, I need 12 boxes for two days a week for the six weeks. So if I go in and say, okay, I need another nine boxes. So I put a nine in here and add sessions. It tells me that I have to save it. So I'm going to hit save. Okay. But then it gives me an error message. Something has to be written in these three boxes before it will let me add more. So I'm just going to throw junk in each one of these three boxes. Doesn't matter what I put in here. And I'm going to hit save. Okay. And then I'm going to come back down here. I'm going to tell it to add the nine sections. And that will add, so I'll have 12 boxes for the summer session too. Okay. So, like I said, you can manually go in and put these dates in here. So you have to have a calendar in front of you and figure out what the dates are. But I'm going to use this attendance generator instead. So in the attendance generator, as long as I have this screen open in Brightspace, I can then click on the link to open up the attendance generator. Okay. Now, what you need to do is put in the start date. So the start date for this is July 11th. That's my start date. And the end date is August 17th. I'm going to hit OK. So it's, that's the end date. And then it wants to know what days you want it to pull dates from. So right now, obviously, I don't give class on Sunday. I'm looking at Monday and Wednesday for this one. So um, what you do is you just say cancel on the ones you don't want and hit OK on the ones you do. So I'm going to hit cancel. For Monday, I'm going to hit OK. Tuesday, I'm going to hit cancel. Wednesday, hit OK. And then all the rest of the days, I'm going to say cancel. OK, so it's letting me know I didn't need any additional um, days. It's automatically going to fill in those 12 days and I'm going to hit OK. And you can see the junk that I put in those first three boxes is automatically replaced with the Monday and Wednesday and then the next Monday's date. So it filled in the dates based on the start and end date that I gave it and what days of the week that I wanted it to pull from from those dates. Okay. Now, what it won't know is if there's a holiday in there. So if we were in the middle of our, you know, session one and it went till July 5th or something like that, July 4th might be one of your dates. If there's any holidays in here that you don't want to take attendance, you can just come over here and hit the um, delete entry button. And when you save it, it will eliminate that day from your week. If you need to add more sessions, maybe you didn't get enough in there, you could add more sessions, rerun the generator, and have it fill in the dates again for you. Okay? Or just manually type them in if there were just a couple of dates that you forgot. Okay? I have the dates that I need, so I'm going to save it. Okay, and everything's set, so I'm going to go ahead and close it now that it's saved. Okay, now at this point, I can just click on the actual um, link to open it up to take attendance. Now, in this one, I don't have any students in, so I'm going to switch to another um, practice course that does have students and it does have attendance registry in it.
Okay, so when you're ready to go take attendance, you're going to go to Course Tools, go to Attendance. Okay, and um, so I have one here that's uh, Summer 23, that's Tuesday, Thursday. So I'm going to click on that particular attendance registry. By clicking on the name, it's going to open up my roster, and it's going to give me a column for each day that I have in the registry. So when you go to take attendance, all you have to do is click on the um, edit box at, or enter attendance box at the top. So I just click on the day. And I can manually go in and pick each one of these. Or if let's say my whole class is here, I can go in and select everybody here. Go to set status and change everybody so that they're all present and save it. And it automatically will put the present um, symbol in there for each one. Let's say you have one person that didn't show, so I'm going to mark them as absent, and I'm going to go ahead and save it and close it. Now you might decide that you know you're not going to use excuse, and you have somebody that you know you've already talked to them, they're not going to come in. You can just leave it blank if you want to, and then it won't count against them. Um, it won't be averaged into the final grade. Okay. Now. And any time I can go back in and edit any one of these and change. And let's say that this person who was absent actually came in late, so I'm going to change that and save it and close it. So you can edit them at any time, okay? If you have a date that you're missing, I can hit Done, and I can go back in and edit the registry if I need to by hitting the Chevron, okay? And I could add a date in here. I could delete one that I don't want anymore. Maybe we're not going to meet on August 8th. I can go in and delete it. Save it. Okay, it will remove that date from the registry. Now, if you delete a day that you've already taken attendance, you will lose that attendance. So be careful about deleting something. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close that. I'm going to click back on the name again to be able to view the attendance. And if you scroll over to the right here, you'll be able to see what the running grade is for the attendance. Now, one thing is, this does not go into the grade book. If you want to take this grade and have it be part of the final grade for the grade book, you would have to go into the grade book, add an attendance column, and manually type out what their final grades are for their attendance from here. Okay, it's not going to automatically pull it into the grade book. Okay, um, if you need to hand in this attendance registry to your department at the end of the semester, all you have to do is come into the attendance, do export all data, it creates a file for you, and it's an Excel file, so I have to just click on the name. It automatically exported at the bottom down here, and I just click on the file name here. And there's my attendance registry. And you can go in and expand your columns if you need to by just double clicking on the line to the right there. All right. Um, if you want the dates in there um, to show, you can expand those dates if you want to. And then um, this one here is just a, a symbol, so you could actually delete that column if you didn't want. But here's your attendance, the overall attendance, and you could go in and maybe make that bold if you wanted to. And um, print this out. Or send a hard, or you can do a hard copy, or print it out and send the file um, to the department when you have to report um, your final grades and your attendance at the end of the semester. So that's how easy it is to create it and how to take attendance and how to export it when you're all done. Okay. All right. So that's how you go in and use attendance in Brightspace.